today's morning devotional. An all-sufficient Savior. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is none else. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 22. Many are making laborious work of walking in the narrow way of holiness. To many the peace and rest of this blessed way seems no nearer today than it did years in the past. They look afar off for that which is nigh, they make intricate that which Jesus made very plain. He is, the way, the truth, and the life, John chapter 14 verse 6. The plan of salvation has been plainly revealed in the word of God, but the wisdom of the world has been sought too much, and the wisdom of Christ's righteousness too little. And souls that might have rested in the love of Jesus have been doubting and troubled about many things. We are wounded, polluted with sin. What shall we do to be healed from its leprosy? In the wilderness, when the Lord permitted poisonous serpents to sting the rebellious Israelites, Moses was directed to lift up a brazen serpent and bid all the wounded look to it and live. But many saw no help in this heaven-appointed remedy. If you are the conscious of your wants, do not devote all your powers to representing them and mourning over them, but look and live. Jesus is our only Savior, and notwithstanding millions who need to be healed will reject his offered mercy, not one who trusts in his merits will be left to perish. Satan suggests that you are helpless and cannot bless yourself. It is true, you are helpless. But lift up Jesus before him, I have a savior. In him I trust, and he will never suffer me to be confounded. In his name I triumph. He is my righteousness, and my crown of rejoicing. It may seem to you that you are sinful and undone, but it is just on this account that you need a savior. If you have sins to confess, lose no time. These moments are golden. Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness will be filled, for Jesus has promised it. Precious Savior. His arms are open to receive us, and his great heart of love is waiting to bless us.